What is water slide decal paper and why do I love it so much? It's a super thin paper that you can use to print any image using your own home computer. Then you can use it to enhance so many craft projects. Stay tuned and let me show you the basics so you can get started on your own projects. With, when you work with um, water side decal paper is make sure you get the decal paper that is for your printer. I have an inkjet, so they make the decal paper for inkjet and also for a laser printer. The brand that I'm using today is Hayes Paper Company. I got this on Amazon. You can get, there are all different brands. I just happen to get Hayes. So I'm using white because I'm putting these on a clear wine glass. What this means, so the, the two different kinds, there's clear and there's white. The clear water slide decal paper has a, um, you can basically, you can see through it. You can even see through the decal. It's a, it's a clear piece. The white has a white, um, I guess it's like a white backing on the, the backside of where you print. So on a clear wine glass, it works really well because you'll, you'll be able to see the decal. Um, the clear water slide works well on a very light colored background, like, a, like if your background is already painted white or a very light color, it works really well. I prefer to use the white water slide decal paper. Make sure you read the instructions for the brand that you are using. Always read your instructions. The size is an odd size. It's an A4. It's not a standard letter size. So on your computer, you want to definitely change the, see on mine, it's in, I'm using Word, so it's layout. Um, size and then mine's defaulted to letter so you would just select a4 and I do also just change my margins so that I maximize how many images I'm putting on the paper because this paper is not I mean it's not expensive but it's um, you know not cheap either and so if I have a full page I want to print a full page so I go ahead and just fill the page up and and print it now once you print uh, you will want to let this ink dry completely before you go to step two. And that's what we're gonna do now. Make sure you grab the right can because I'm using Rust-Oleum and you see if you don't read and you might gra grab the satin midnight blue and end up painting your water slide with paint instead of clear spray. Sealing with clear spray once your ink is dry is going to seal in that ink and prevent it from running. If you don't seal it, it's gonna run. See my finger there? So the rule of thumb is to spray it light, light coats, three light coats, and you let it dry between each coat. And yes, I'm using Rust-Oleum Semi-Gloss Clear, and you're just wanting to shake it really well and apply three light coats in a, um, I kind of do a back and forth pattern, let it dry, and then I do a side to side pattern, let it dry, and then I'll do a diagonal pattern and let it dry. So very important to seal. If you don't seal, you will know it very quickly and you will have a mess. Not that I've ever done that, of course, no. You can use a heat gun or a hair dryer just to speed up the drying process and to make sure everything is good and dry. Once your water slide decal is all dry, you can start cutting. I'm only gonna cut apart the ones that I'm gonna use immediately. So I am gonna speed up this portion a little bit because you know cutting is just super boring and I'm sure you don't wanna see it. But um, with a white water slide, because you are going to see that white backing or the, you know, the white color, you want to cut around the 
decal as close as you can to the edge of the decal. Look how cute these are going to be. Hmm? I just try to get as close to the edge as I can. The next step is soaking your decals in water. And what that does is it activates the adhesive between the decal paper and the backing. And if you have not sealed your decal well with that clear spray, you will know very quickly because you will see the ink start to run in your, um, in, in the water. And I just use a cheap makeup brush from the dollar store to to help me smooth the decal once um once it's ready and i'm not speeding this up i'm doing this in real time because i want you to see how quick this this process is and how how easy it is so the it takes about it takes about 45 seconds to 60 seconds for the water slide to soak and be fully ready for you to put on your glass and how you will know it's ready is when the backing starts to pull away from the decal a little bit. This one's not quite ready, but it's almost there. So I'm going to let it soak just a little bit more. Okay, just put a little bit of water on your surface just to it helps the water slide kind of stick and be able to come off of the backing um, a little easier and this one is ready so we're just going to take it out of the water make sure it's wet uh, you don't want it you know soaking wet but just grab very gently grab the decal and you want to slide the backing away from the decal and just kind of, you're going to have to be really gentle with it on some areas that are a little smaller, but just smooth it out with your brush and, um, you know, just that, that, that's really it. That's how simple it is. Um, the smaller the details on your decal, the more gentle you'll have to be. And when it's wet, you can still kind of move it around a little bit. It, it'll, it'll be kind of slippery. Um, once it's dry, you won't be able to move it. So just put a little bit of water on your glass, put your decal on the glass, gently slide the decal off of the, the backing, just really gently hold it, and then just really gently. I'm a little bit worried about the um, fins on this one, but just kind of tip tap it with your finger grab that backing and just slide it away. Just be really gently, just gently do that. And then just use your brush to um, smooth out any wrinkles, smooth out any air bubbles, and that's it. I mean, that's, that's really all you do. This one went, went on really well. I'm, I'm excited about these two. Once you've put your water slide decal on and you've let it fully dry, it is ready for the next step and whatever you want that step to be, whether you're going to embellish it or just put resin on or any kind of clear coating, that's, that's how you apply a water slide. And this is the difference between a clear <clears throat> water slide decal and a white water slide decal this is a white water slide decal which means that the backing is white so you you're not seeing all the way through the decal you can actually see the color you can't see all the way through it a clear water slide decal you're going to be able to see all the way through it but this being a clear glass i didn't want that and it's a little speck of dust there so that's it that's how you apply a water slide so stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to show you how I finish these guys, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.